Hi, in previous lecture I discussed BFS introduction, BFS algorithm and its running time. In today lecture I will discuss BFS example. I will use the same graph as DFS that you can compare the DFS traversal and BFS traversal. First example, let's take a graph. The same graph I used for DFS also, you can go through that lecture. For DFS traversal, we need a stack, while for BFS traversal, we need a queue. Let's construct a queue. So, we'll start visiting from node A. Let me write 1 here. We can enqueue A into Q. Then, which are A adjacent? A adjacent is B and C. So, we can enqueue B and C into Q. Let me enqueue B and C. So, here number will be 2 and 3 and we can delete A. Next, we'll insert B adjacent. B adjacent are D and E. Let me enqueue D and E into Q. Here number will be 4 and 5. Next, I will DQ B. Next, I will insert C adjacent. C adjacent are F and G. Let me insert F and G into Q. Then I will delete C. So your number will be 6 and 7. Next, I can insert D adjacent. D adjacent is H. So I can insert H and I will delete D. Next, I will insert E adjacent. E adjacent are B and S that already visited, that is already in Q. So I will simply delete E. Then F adjacent, F adjacent are C and S that is already visited. So I can delete F. Next, G adjacent, G adjacent are C and S that is already visited. So I can delete. H adjacent are D, E, F, G that is already visited. So I can delete. So after BFS traversal, we got this sequence with its timestamp. For DFS, we use two timestamp. One is discovery time and another is finishing time. But in case of BFS, in which sequence we insert in the same sequence we delete. So we can consider this as a discovery time or finishing time. They have the same sequence for both discovery and finishing. There can be multiple BFS traversal for the same graph. This is just one BFS traversal. Let me do some more BFS sequence. So A adjacent are B and C. So we can visit B then C or C then B. So if we'll visit C after A. So A, C, B. Then C adjacent are G, F. Then B adjacent are D, E. Then H. We can also start from H. We can start from any vertex. Suppose you will start from H. Then we can visit H, D, E, F, G, B, C, A. Other traversal also possible from H. Like we can start from H. Then G, F, E, D. Then C, B, A. There can be multiple BFS sequence for the same graph. You can get a question like this. One graph will be given and some sequence will be given and it will ask which are the BFS sequence or which are the DFS sequence. There can be multiple DFS and BFS sequence for the same graph. Now BFS sequence is done. Let's construct the BFS tree. I will do the BFS tree for first sequence. So I'll start from A. Let me create node A. Then from A, we'll visit B and C. So A child will be B and C. Then from B, we'll visit D and E. So B child will be D and E. Then C child will be F and G. And D child will be H. As from D, we are visiting H. So this is the BFS tree for this graph. In case of DFS tree of undirected graph, there can be tree edges or back edges. While BFS tree of undirected graph, there can be tree edges and cross edges. So these are all tree edges. Let me add the cross edges. Now just mark which edges are missing. So this edge is missing, this edge is missing, this edge is missing. We can add these three edges. I will add a dotted line that is for cross edges from E to H, from F to H and from G to H. So these are the cross edges. So this is a decorated VFS tree for this graph. If you are adding the cross edges, that will be decorated VFS tree. Without the cross edges, it will be normal VFS tree. Let's discuss another example. I will take two component. 
this is a undirected graph having two component this is one component and this is another component i already discussed dfs traversal for the same graph you can go through that let's do the bfs traversal on this component then i'll look for this component so let me start from a i'll nq a into q a at the center c d and e so i can insert c d and e into q and i can add the number for a1 for c2 for d3 and for e4 now i can delete a first insert the adjacent then delete that vertex next c adjacent c adjacent are a d and f a and d already in q so i'll insert f and I'll write number here 5 and I'll delete C. Next, D adjacent. D adjacent is A and C already visited. So I can delete D. Next, E adjacent. E adjacent is B. Let me insert B. Then I can delete E. F adjacent is E and B. That is already in Q. So I can delete. Next, B adjacent. All B adjacent are visited. So I can delete. We did BFS traversal on the inner component. Next, we will do BFS traversal on the outer component. We can start from any vertex. Let me start from G. I can insert G into Q and I will write number here 7. Then from G, we can visit H and J. Both are its adjacent. So let me insert H and J into Q. Here I'll write number 8, here I'll write number 9, then I can delete G. Next, I'll visit H adjacent. H adjacent is I, so I can insert I. Here I'll write number 10 and I can delete H. Next, J adjacent, all J adjacent are visited, so I can delete. Next, I adjacent, all I adjacent are visited, so I can delete. Now, BFS traversal is done. Next, I'll do the BFS tree. From A, I visited C, D, and E. So, A child will be C, D, and E. Next, from C, I can visit F. So, C child will be F. Then, from E, I can visit B. So, B will be E child. Now, for inner part, BF is tree is turn. Next, we'll do for outer part. From G, I visited H and J. So G child will be H and J. Then from H I visited I. So I will be H child. Now this is the BFS forest. There are two BFS tree. So this is a BFS forest. But it is not decorated. Just trees are there. I can add the cross edges. Now just check which edges are missing in BFS forest. From A, I visited C, D, and E. These three edges are present. Then from C, I visited F. From E, I visited B. So C to D, we can add a S. That will be cross edge. Then F to E and F to B. So F to E and F to B, these are the cross edges. Next, we will do for the outer part. G to H is present, G to J is present, H to I is present, only missing is I to J. So you can add a S from J to I, this is a cross edge. Now this is a decorated BFS forest for this graph. I discussed two undirected graph, let's discuss a directed graph. Example 3, this is a directed graph. Let me do BFS traversal starting from vertex U. I will insert U into the Q. So U adjacent are T and V. Here I will write number 1. I can insert T and V into Q. So I will write number 2 and 3. And I can delete U. Next T adjacent. T adjacent is V and U that is already visited. So I can delete T. Next, B adjacent, B adjacent are S and W. So, we can insert S and W into Q and we can delete B. Let me write number here 4 and 5. Next, S adjacent, S adjacent is Z. We can insert Z into Q. I can write number 6 and we can delete S. Next, W adjacent, W adjacent is X. We can write number here 7 and insert x next delete w from the q 
next z adjacent z adjacent is y we'll insert y we'll delete z and we'll write number as 8 we are adding timestamp we are inserting and we are deleting next x adjacent all x adjacent are visited so we'll delete it next y adjacent all are visited so we'll delete it so we got the bfa sequence as u t b s w z x y now bfs traversal is done next we'll construct the bfs tree from u we visited T and V. So T and V will be U child. Next from V we visited S and W. So S and W will be V child. Next from S we visited Z. So Z will be S child. From W we visited X. So X will be W child. Next from Z we visited Y. So Y will be Z child. So this is a BFS tree without crosses. Now got the BFS tree having just tree edges. Next we can add the cross edges to make it decorated BFS tree. Now just check which edges are missing. From U to T is given, U to V is given. T to V we can add a edge. This is a cross edge. T to U is given but if we will add that will be back edge. And in BFS tree there is tree edges and cross edges no back edge. So we will not add this edge. Next V to S we used. V to W we used. S to W that is missing. So we can add this edge. S to W that is a cross edge. Next S to Z we used. W to X we used. So Z to W that we can add. So this is a cross edge. Next Z to Y we used. So we can add a edge from y to x and x to z. So x to z and y to x these are the cross edge. Now this is a decorated BFS tree having both tree edges and cross edges. In BFS tree there is just tree edges. When we are decorating it, when we are adding cross edges, it is a decorated BFS tree. In today lecture I discuss three examples two undirected graph and one directed graph for BFS traversal and construction of BFS tree. In next lecture, I will discuss BFS application and difference between DFS and BFS. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.